Mm. Okay. <laughs> See, like, why is my heart rate already at 100? ADHD increases your your base heart rate. Let's go. And the caffeine from G-Subs. Oh, you mean the G-Subs I got while using code PEZZY at checkout for 10% off? That's crazy. Nice. Well, I've uploaded one of these episodes before. I played all of them. I've only uploaded the Carson house, I think. Or the hike. Which one did I upload? I don't remember. <laughs> Oh, I did both of these in one video and then I never upload a Carson house. Sorry about that. You're not going to get it though, YouTube. My bad. But I am going to, we're going to play Iron Bar Cookout today. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears of... What? What? What I'm about to recount happened while I was 24 or so at the time. Wait, what does this mean? I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber. I don't know what that means. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story any anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Yeah, because these are based on real stories, right? I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes as I was, and I was off to the new location. How far? Oh, two hours. Oh, okay. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday, just... Park your truck around on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take a couple hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. How's it looking? Stole my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. All right, let's just keep riding. Oh, sh- Ooh! What? I thought I could look back for two fucking seconds, but I guess not. I've always loved the great outdoors. Real. Damn, that's actually kind of nice. Where did he say he was? Just surrounded by nature. It gives me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Pacific Northwest. Kayla, I can't, I can't text and drive right now. Oh, wait. So I have to stop here at the diner, right? Damn. Slow down! Slow down! That didn't happen. That wasn't me. I'll leave a note on their car, guys. It's fine. Shut up. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? I, I'm going to ask how you're doing. All right, uh, feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Okay, thank you. They don't react. I wish they would. Uh, hey, good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So, what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese Hmm. <laughs> Ooh! Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Are they dinosaur shaped? If they're not, can they be? Nah, not grilled cheese. I don't like the, I don't like onion rings. I'm not a big fan of on, on, onions. Meatball sub. Very well. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, yes. large Coke. This is actually like a me meal. <laughs> Am I just supposed to wait here the whole time? I'm really impatient. I'm gonna get up and press on everything in your store. Wait, I changed the. Oh god, I'm about to confuse a person. No, can't do that. Let's put my bag down. I really had to pee. <laughs> I think I'm missing the bowl a bit, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm missing the, I can't stop. I'm just making a mess. I want to click everything. Can I bother you? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a stranger at Ironbark State. Did I say stranger? I'm a staffer. I'm not going to tell him. I don't trust anybody. Literally not telling a soul where I'm going. How's the food? Do you mind if I join? I can actually join people? How's the food? Okay. He's an awkward person. Don't mean to bother you. Sorry. Maybe you'll be more inviting and friendly. Please look. Okay. Nope. <laughs> ah, small town vibes. We love it. Hey, can I bother you? You look a little lost. I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. This, that's none of your business. I could be a total dick or I could be just honest, but I don't trust him because look at that fucking, he looks like a doll. That is a gigantic coffee cup. You got a shovel? and some raggedy clothes and you weren't talking. Can I sit with you? Bitch. Be a little bitch about it. Did I break it? Did I just leave my radio on? Turn that shit off. Close the door. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just like asking to get robbed. What are you doing out here? You got any drugs? <laughs> this guy just enjoying life. How's that burger? 
this little piece of heaven, this place is pretty much my weekend spot. Damn, this is me at the local in and out This is bad. Uh, you new around here? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. I like this guy. He's gonna murder me later. Alright, I trust him already? Yeah, same. For sure. I got your food. I know, but I'm just exploring. Shush. Can I place it back? I can't. Ooh, I'm gonna make it a game. And it's gone. <laughs> oh, my, my food. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, alright. No, sure. No tip for you. <laughs> Oh, that actually looks scrum diddly umptious. I'm not even kidding. Oh, God, I want food now. Give me those. Yup. Let me sip on my cock. I mean, Coke. Oh, I got a text. Kayla, I remember there's a diner while passing. Yup, yeah, I'm already here. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is good. Hell yeah, man. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. How much you guys charging? Here's a check. Your total is $6. I'm gonna do 50% tip. Yeah. Easy. Six. Wait a second. Six dollars for a fucking meatball sub, chicken nuggets, and a Coke? That is a fucking steal. Of course I'm... Bruh. That is insane. In this economy? Thank you. Please take a seat. I'll be right with you. Do you not remember me? <laughs> Can I get hit by a car? Wait, I'm going to test it. I'm sorry. I, I got to test it. Wait, why is my door open? I closed it. I'm checking all my... Oh, really? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. That's funny. Unjam it. I closed my door. I know I closed my door. Which guy was this? Was he the first guy that I talked to? The shovel got... We're dead. Oh, and he did. He was the one that was silent and didn't say shit. Don't hit me. That's a your... That's, that's a you problem. That was not on me. That was all you. You saw me from a long time ago. What happened? 8.02 p.m. I wanted to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Wait, do I park there? Shit. Wide turn, wide turn. Shit. Oh, we're good. All right, I think that's good enough. This is good enough. No, it's not. <laughs> don't follow me. Don't do anything to me. So tired. I'm I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of that, man. I'm 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 over it. I'm over it. You scared me. Oh, I scared you. I thought you were one of them. One of them who? What are you talking about? This guy's seen some shit. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Shut up. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? I'm going to say I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. I was sort of uh, Yeah, I'm going to say that. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Okay. Look at that. I was like looking up here. Cause <laughs> Person in the window? No, you're lying. I didn't see shit. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. Okay, I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. There was a guy that walked past the window. I didn't see it. Let me open the trail gate for you. Okay, cool. Thanks. You're a real one, bro. You might also need this flashlight for a long hike to your lookout. Be, you be careful. Take this. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. Okay. Uh, if need be, you can reach out to the Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice, nice enough guy. <laughs> He'll be your closest contact in case of emergency. Thank you, Billy. Okay, cool. I'm going to go check my bathroom. Why did it just do that? Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods? That's why. That way, pal. Bobcats and bears. And lions, oh my. Nasty business. You got it. Stop. Do you hear the footsteps? Am I crazy? It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. There's my tower. In real life, I like this shit. But in a game... I know it's gonna fuck me up. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. It'd actually be kind of cool, though. I think I'd like it. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Lock it if you can. Good idea. Ooh, light. Forgot to turn the generator. Generator on. Now. Take goodbye. Wait, what is that? Oh, God. My whiteness is kicking in. Let's check out the weird-looking cabin with wood and not go in a safe space. Matches? Wait, I could use these. I'm setting the whole place on fire. Oh, no. Fuck! Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> I 
I was about to burn the place down. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Oh man, I wanted to invite my bitches over. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the in the system. Do these guys just fucking? Do, these, do they hate fun? Like what? What's going on? Oh God! <laughs> I don't know what I can click on and what I can't, so it fucking scared me. Wait, so what's my password again? Isn't it literally just tower 11? Fuck. System password is iron bark tower number. Okay. We're in the mainframe. Hello there, it's Smiley, your, your trusty virtual assistant here to help you make the most of your computer today. Good evening, tower, tower 11. How's your day going? It's going all right. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for- oh god. The Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in the generating oxygen we breathe. So let's cut down all the trees. Let's play X, E, X, E, X, E. I knew I had video games. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies. Have a blast. Shut up, Smiley. Employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, Hi, then Jack. let me be the first to say congratulations. Thanks. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department Kay. to protect one of the most... I like how they got... Uh, an Irish person to do that. The Iron Bark! <laughs> Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. Okay. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I'll try my best. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. All right. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. I'm excited. This is a truly rewarding job. Which it is. It requires many hours of hard work. Just sitting here and doing nothing? I know. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. Okay. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable. Is that it? <laughs> so also keep watch for smoke. Okay. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Color Fires the smoke. Are best stopped before they spread out of hand. I'm gonna drink and drive. Why did it say that? <laughs> when the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all. So-called scientists? Yeah, I'm thinking I like think it's best entity. Not to get into a lawsuit. Okay. Keep records of daily wind speed. You got wind it. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. <laughs> After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. Okay. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Yeah, good one. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. Yeah, okay, let's calm down. The privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered- Did this- Did he just say I have the privilege of using that form? Wow. <laughs> the campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Oh god, I'm gonna have to deal with dumbasses, huh? Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Noted. I won't. Maintenance, maintenance of the park. Maintenance of the park. Okay. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. You got it. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. Okay. What else do I need we to know? Hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Why is it curved like that? Equipment. And remember, state of the art. If you see smoke, don't joke. Oh god. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. If you see smoke, don't What did it say? I don't even remember the uh, the catch phrase. <laughs> Oh my god, the, the achievement is called Top of the Morning. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Flash Drive Media. What do I got on here? Ron Ross. Hi everyone, I'm Ron Ross. I don't like Ron Ross. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. <laughs> and we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you most rise? Fascinating. Alright. <laughs> Ready to wield some digital magic with console type help to get a command list. You need to submit a report. I gotta do my job. Fucking lame. Wait, what time is it? 11.32. You guys can't see it. It's in the top right. So I gotta turn my lights out by 12 a.m. Otherwise, I die. What? Uh, who's this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Okay. Your light turn on. 
thought I was going to be alone out here? No, I didn't think that. You were watching? Isn't that the job? But had to cover your area until you arrived. Real. Connor knows what he's doing. He's just trying to, trying to be a professional, okay? Towering paradise of ours. I'm really tired. God damn, my character is so boring. Just looking for a change. Connor didn't like that. <laughs> I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? I don't know. I haven't checked. <laughs> Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to oh. the storm shivering. Oh, so I... Oh, okay. I gotta set a fire up here. Okay. Where's fire truck? Is that him? That's gotta be him, right? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Brother, Connor, can you, like, give me d d d three minutes? Like, it just that long, if anything. You gave me a minute. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Uh-huh. Get her lit. I'm doing it. Oh, ooh, I don't like Connor already. I don't like him. Okay, I'm gonna go get some wood. Calm the fuck down, Connor, all right? I'm doing my- I'm doing- I'm doing what I can. Connor was on the- this guy's already a needy bitch. What do you want? There's no fire. Oh my god. I know where it is! I can just go get it! No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Who's Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Oh. She was one gritty woman. Okay. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. You got it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down and get some wood. Ooh. Do not talk to me. Do not touch me. Do not do anything to me. I'm going up. I'm going. Stop. I fucking. I feel like somebody's watching me. I hate this shit. Did I miss? Need gap. <laughs> I'm going to be the cause of a fucking forest fire. Wait, if I set the carpet on fire, is it actually going to work? I'm going to try it. It didn't. Can you crouch? I can. Is that it? Did I do it? Haha! <laughs> Let's go! I see the smoke. Alright, good. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No, not yet. It took me 10 minutes to figure out how to start a fire. Did you report for the night yet? How about I? Ooh! You just asked me that! No, let me get to it. You better get to it then. Oh my god. Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, I'll do it. I'm, I'm doing it. Wind and temp. Oh my god, I, I actually have to do work. I can't just do it eyeball. Damn. 18 knots? Is that high or is that low? 44.3. Alright, 18 knots and 44.3. Temperature in Fahrenheit, 44.3. And wind speed, 18 knots. Weather condition. Clouds. Number of hikers assisted. Zero. Yo. Reported by... What's my name? Is my name Jake? Or Jack? Jack Nelson, right? You copy, new guy? Yeah. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. All good, Connor. You've done a lot of work bothering me. Tower I'm kidding. 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Hey, thanks. You're gonna murder me, aren't you? Don't want the bed bite. Yep, we're dead. I can play a game. Let's play Plague. Plague. Speed running. They can't touch me. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm here. Am I in the same room that I started in? Where are all the zombies? Where'd they go? Oh shit, a basement. Speed run. Can't touch me if I be hop. Oh shit. Hey guys. Oh, I beat it. Ow. No, I didn't. Ah! All right, I'm done. All right, let's go to sleep. 3.30 AM. Why am I up? Hello? Unintelligible. I had to pee. Connor? We're dead. Wait, where do I go to the bathroom? I didn't even realize that. Do I have a bathroom here? My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go back in it. Why can't I go down? Space to pee. I thought I was about to pee off the railing. <laughs> where I am! <laughs> the benefits of having a dick? Not real. Do I just go back to bed? Or do I use the binoculars and I look? Damn, these things got to zoom on them. There's someone going down the stairs. Nuh uh No, that's just a tree. Turn your lights on? Why? I'm not supposed to. My mom... My mom said lights out by 12. Yo, what's going on, man? You're not supposed to be here. Piss on him. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Good night. Night two. Oh, got my coffee. Look at that view. It's just you and the wind and the time that melts away. Oh, take a photo. Wow. Can I throw this cup? 
I'm gonna throw it off the- off it. Nice. <laughs> I threw it off the tower. <laughs> Turn this music off. Ah, Jesus copy. Christ, Connor! This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yes! Shut up. My goodness. Tower 11, do you copy? If you ask me one more time, I, I'll, I'll go over there and fuck you. Son of a bitch! What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Okay. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a look. North? I gotta get my co my cut my compass north. Yeah, I see it. Smoke is white, indicative. Oh, you are so fucking impatient. Yes. Okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Yeah, I hate when people litter and stuff. Fire risks are high this season. Okay. Am I checking it out? Do I have to? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes. Do you have any other detail? Is it safe? I'm a, I'm a pussy. Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Give me a fucking gun, bro. Lazy trail this way. All right, wait. This is where the guy went. Oh yeah, this will only go great. Bears. Cool. I have my bear spray. Why did it just get all Slendermanish? Why? Are you good? I love Jen. No camping. Violators will be sudden and moved. She gives the best head. <laughs> nice. No, oh, she's not over here. God damn it. Jesus. Okay, somebody had a hot spot. Why don't I hear whistling? Stop. Wait, did I just see a man? Did I just see a man? Hello? We're dead. We're gonna die. Put out the fire, bro. Like, you're not even supposed to have this. Ha! Huh, Jesus. <laughs> I had to put it out. Okay, how? Wilder. Okay, shut up. Okay, ex okay, I was about to say. Where do I go? Do I just go up? Uh, do I just go back now? I'm I'm leaving. Goodbye. I put out your fire, I did my job. I'm going back to my tower now. Don't don't follow me. As I head back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help. But think what might have happened. What are you talking about? I had to report to Connor about the vacant cam campsite. It wasn't vacant. We saw a guy. So report that. Connor, do you co tower to Connor? Do you, uh, uh, which one? Do I be informal or formal? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just Stop calling me new guy. Hot. Well, first, what's your status? Cooking myself some hot. What? Why? Why do you stop? Whatever. Are you kidding me? I'm not. It, 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 I am being. This is a on God situation. I know. They never learn, do they? I'm sick of these bastards. It's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. Ha okay. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Uh, yeah, maybe a blood curdling scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. No. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. No. <laughs> it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Okay. And that's not something for you to be concerned about. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the kids? Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Um, I believe them. That's why they had an EMF level reader or whatever. Yeah, why does nobody tell me this shit like when I get hired? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Nah, you get people that chase this shit. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Oh, you're a doubter, huh? Well, you're a skeptic. At least now you know why Mitch had the staff tower 11 urgently. Okay, that's unsettling. I literally don't have another choice, but no. I would say yes. In a real life situation, I would say yeah. You know why? Because I walked down there and I heard a manly blood curdling scream and I saw a guy in the woods. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Yeah. No problem, Connor. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. What commotion? I tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Damn, you tell them, Connor. Like a mall cop. <laughs> Alright, now what? 
Is this considered cloudy? Is this cloudy enough for a report? Dang, look how good I am, man. All right, I got the controls down. All right, let's go measure the wind. God damn, it's windy out. And 49.9, 49.9. Wind speed, 19 knots. It's cloudy, zero. Jack Nelson. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Yeah, wait, what am I gonna do about food? Do I have all the food up here that I need? I had all the ingredients for Kayla's recipe asked for. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. So can I make that? Oh, yeah. Where tomato marinara? Yay! What's the next one? Pepperoni. Get some pepper, mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Diced tomato. Nope, not this. Did it go back in? Shit. All right. Place that shit in the oven. All right. Connor, I'm making dinner right now. If that gets overdone, Connor, you owe me new, some new ingredients. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Cool, man. Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of mind. True. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit uh, the sack now. Sounds good, Connor. It's been a tough day. Thanks. Yeah, I like eating in bed. Dude, fucking same. I love eating in bed. Jesus, is it good? Good ward, man. It's so wet. 2.30 <laughs> a.m. I don't get any sleep, do I? The whistling. I didn't read that what that said. What the fuck? No, bear spray. Ah! Oh shit! Wait! Where's the bear spray? What? It didn't work. <laughs> I was awoken by some feeling that caused my eyes to, to drift open. There was an option to hide? Pussy. See, we're good. Not even worried about it. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? I didn't know what to make of this of it at this moment. Oh, I don't know. Could be nothing. The only logical thing I could think of was to contra contact Connor. Good idea. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? I don't give a fuck, bitch. There's some outside my door. There's some there's some outside my door. Did, did you really just fucking say that to me? Hey, man, there's something outside my door. Damn, dude, you couldn't wait a couple hours? I could be dead! Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these idiots messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. What? I don't think these are kids messing around. What a... These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm laughing my ass off. Cool, thanks. Wait, what if it's bat? Are you... Connor. Connor. For now, just lock your door. Take a deep breath. And try to get the rest. Dude, locking your door doesn't do shit when you are surrounded by windows. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. I ain't saying shit to you. You're bothering me. Connor didn't make any sense. Nuh-uh. Really? But there's not much else I could do- uh, could have done in the dark? I don't understand why they don't give me, they give these people guns. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. There's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in these woods. I occupy most of my days either with a simple maintenance in uh, and around the tower or by scanning the density, the densities of trees all around me. My paranoia only for the woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. All right, hello? What's going on? I should report that, right? That's a flare. Hello? Wait, doesn't that mean something is as bad is happening? Uh, I need help. Oh shit. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I can, what up? Uh... <laughs> Jesus, stop! Oh, thank goodness, uh, I'm lost and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. How did you get on this radio frequency? Uh, what's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to 
explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. True. He's kind of right about that. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. I saw it, though. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. I want to see what- I want to know what he's wearing. I wish I clicked that one. Can you describe your surroundings? I'm doing that one. I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. What direction are you- okay. I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay, he walked east. So, which means I have to go west, right? Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I don't fucking know. Um, I'm bad with directions, Chief. Hold on. He was by a stream, right? Maybe he was by this one. Oh, wait. Is he, he might be right here. Go left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. No, -uh, you don't know shit. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You got it, man. You're welcome. Making a decision in the dark can be challenging. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. Yep, you're welcome. I'm right here. Where? I hear you. Ah, Jesus, stop. I hear your whistles. You might be dead. <laughs> That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. GG's, man. Hey. hey. <laughs> I did not lead you down this trail if the police ask. That's not me. You, you're freaking me out. Nah, we're hiding. Goodbye. Occupied. Oh, it's you, you fucking creepy bitch. I've been knocking for hours. Okay, dude, it's been like a minute. I, I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker, just finishing up on a... At this hour? May God be merciful. You're fucking weird, Billy. I don't like you. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Thanks, man. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. All you do is complain, huh? What were you doing there last night? What was I doing where? Up north. Why were you there? I was required to investigate a campfire smoke. I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I, I, I'm gonna need you to stop being so fucking cryptic and just tell me what's going on. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what he said last time. I've been hearing you. You've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Nope. I'm mentioning the skull. I don't care. I trust him. He's too stupid. He's not sus. Oh, Ward. <laughs> Dude, it just tell me what's going on instead of praying. <laughs> Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks, man. Thanks for the supplies. I'm going to watch them the whole way down. Oh shit! Oh my god! A can just fell in my in my off my desk, and I I almost just straight up had a heart attack. I'm not even kidding. I I, I genuinely thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die in real life. Hey, dude, you still alive or what? Nah, he's dead as hell. I'm hungry. Damn! I'm nuts. Jesus! It's a bit windy out, and it is 55.6. The game is prompting you to eat. Did I actually break the game? I think I broke the game by falling asleep with the lasagna. Oh, the fucking supplies. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I open it? I have... All right. Uh... <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I broke the game. I can't even let go of it. <laughs> do I put it in the microwave, maybe? Thank God I didn't have to reload. Jesus Christ. Okay, heat that shit up. Yeah. I keep breaking every game I play. <laughs> Ugh, I hate that noise. It's so fucking moist. It's disgusting. All right. Where's the where is the supplies? Okay, maybe the supplies don't really matter. All right, wait. How, how, how fast is the wind? Let's do it again. 25. 55.6. Close this door. Don't touch me. I'll fuck you up, Smiley. I did more than just check the temperature today. I did a good job. Lights out. Good night. It was getting cold. Oh, my fucking... I'm such a bitch. 
Ooh. Okay. I hate this fucking game. I, I like it. I, I like. I, 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 I don't like. I, I feel like. It's. <laughs> you just gave me a heart attack. No, like. Actually, though. <laughs> I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who the fuck are you? And why are you saying some stupid shit to me in the middle of the forest? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Is this a shovel guy? I don't think so. But I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about in a that guy's really hot, the new worker is really hot way. <laughs> nice to meet you. No, I'm saying, do you, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Okay? We must ensure that the right message reached the right place. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we rely on information about fire sightings. I agree, fire risks are high this season. I'm gonna say the first one. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. Okay, dude. <laughs> Why are you getting all philosophical on me now, right? Okay, like... Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. This isn't what I wanted to talk about. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. You are throwing all kinds of red flags to me, my guy. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Noted. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. I'm in there, Connor. Calm the fuck down, okay. man. What? You there? Uh -huh. This is Jack. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. I'm sorry. Ran into Sil- Watch him not know who he is. Ready? Watch. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. The guy- The nearby radio tower worker. We're dead. <laughs> <sighs> Just about yesterday. What do you mean, Connor? Wow. <laughs> it was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair cost was deemed too costly. Cool. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding. Then who did I just talk to? According to Mitch. Connor, if you gaslight me and say that I'm joking and you're saying that I'm lying, I will cut your toes off. Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. It was an old fucking man. He knew my name! Wait! Yeah, now he knew my name! Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Oh, I don't know! Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Call the fucking cops! Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Yeah, dude. I'll just... Hey, Silas! Nice to see you again! Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. I'm getting off in a in a hissy fit because you don't believe me and you're making me mad. I forgot to turn the lights off. Fuck! Am I gonna get in trouble? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get you need getting used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in the woods is not enough to cause any alarm yet. Really? 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 I didn't read that last bit. I accidentally clicked twice. I'm fucking stupid. Oh shit! It's raining. <laughs> Yeah, what? Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Wow, window or uh, Rainbow 99? Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Okay. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Watch, it's gonna take my game away. Help. Check for available system systems update. Is that a K? Three updates found in total. Good lord. Uh, package, okay. Install system update with package code. Update. Security pad. Yeah. Bang. Fuck you. What do you mean it's right there? Oh, the package. Two point. Got it. Oh, it's. Shut up. I'm not the boomer here. Connor is. Serviceable lines. Please enter an active line. So it's fly 487. Easy. Nice. 
Ha! Huh. We're gonna die. The power went out. We're actually fucking dead. How is his power still on? That's not fair. Goodbye! Goodbye! I did- oh, of course. You're a nuisance, Jack. I want you to know that. We're dead. Well, good to know this is a hiding spot! Leave me alone! Stop, stop, I'm out. Goodbye. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the pet. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Cool, 2.30 a.m., we're about to see another cult leader. I'm excited. Got another one. Another what? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Jack? What? Jack, I need you to wake up. I'm awake. Copy? Yes. What do you want? Jack, you copy? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. Okay. I got you then. <laughs> Liar. See more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. See the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. God damn it, Connor. Ha! <laughs> Stop! You know what? What? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let me deal with it, because I definitely wanted to do this. I wasn't fast asleep. You got it, man. If things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. I want to call the fucking police. I'm going to get some rest. Okay. I'm going to wait until tomorrow. And I'm going to get some fast... Some good sleep. Take a photo of this shit. Guys, say cheese. <gasps> Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! It was all prank! It was a prank! It was a prank! It was a prank! I don't do goddamn shit. Do I really gotta hide in the porta potty? There's no way. Ready? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Into the shitter. In the porta potty. <laughs> do I leave? Or do I stay? To the car? There's no car. Dude, somebody said in chat, "Don't fart" while he was searching, and I almost fucking died. That was so funny to me. <gasps> ah! Go this way! Did I live? Get the fuck out of here now! My, my RV is gone. We're dead. No! Where am I going? Where are we? Ah! Uh huh? As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch. Next morning, authorities had allegedly ran a small inv investigation of the area. But of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was my last time I ever set foot in those woods. Yeah, dude, fucking quit. Did I take a photo? I did! I even got evidence in the like, nah, dude, you must have been imagining that shit. <laughs> Unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. 
My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, those woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Speedrun? You guys want to speedrun this game now? No. <laughs>